Hello everyone, I'm Alexander Svet from CaptureOnBlock.com and recently I've got a chance to test the Tangent Retouch panels with the new CaptureOn Pro 10. As you may have heard, CaptureOn 10 gained a support for these devices. Today I will figure out how it feels to edit images with Tangent panel and what is also important, is it worth the cost? For the review I have borrowed the complete element kit, four panels including multifunctional, button, tracker ball and knob panels. Each panel has its own display with a progress bar for every adjustment. It's quite convenient, especially when you're just starting to use the panel. And it's a really touch pleasant device, the build is good, it feels nice and all moving parts work easily. Each part of the panel may work separately or it may be combined with other parts. All the devices are connected to computer via USB, that's why it's a good idea to have an additional USB hub. Ok, now let's try our tangent in the real processing. I'll start with KB panel. It has 12 knobs to control all the sliders in Capture One. We'll add some contrast and clarity and HDR and a little bit of saturation, something like that, yeah. White balance correction, you see, it's really easy to roll the knob. Ok, shadows and contrast again, a little bit clarity, great. On this field, Tangent KB completely crushes all your previous experiences with keyboard or graphic tablets. It feels so natural to roll the knob to adjust the slider. It brings an amazing feeling of an analog control over the processing. What is also great here is that you can customize all the controls, you can choose any knob and point any tool to it like this, you can also change display type and knob sensitivity, it's really convenient by the way. In my case I have appointed structure slider to my knob, yep, it works great. You know, it's amazing how clarity and structure sliders could improve such images. You can appoint any tool to your knob, like black and white settings or brush opacity or brush size, uh, and also you can easily switch between different layouts with the A and B buttons on the panel, it's really convenient and it's really fast, but for me the most useful thing is to use like standard sliders, like clarity, contrast, brightness, saturation, seriously, once you will try it you will never return to an old style editing. Now let's talk about the second panel, Tracker Ball. If you're a fan of color balance, it's for you. Because actually it is color balance. It gives you a fantastic control over the color correction, you can feel how tangible the color is. You may also assign any tool to this panel, but no, it was built for color balance and if you're working often with color balance, you will really, really enjoy it. multifunctional and button panels are also quite useful. You can add layer, switch between layers, fill mask, invert mask and for example turn on exposure warning or focus mask, but the problem is that they don't bring any new experience to Capture One. They are more convenient than a regular keyboard, but more expensive as well. At the same time, you can customize everything for your own work logic. For example, you can take any button and assign some specific shortcut, like editing shortcuts or filters or cursor tools and everything else. The same with uh, knobs, like lots of choices. And for multifunctional tool, for tracker ball, you can also choose different features, like for example you can control uh, clarity with a tracker ball or anything else. Tension panels are quite expensive and if you would ask me are they worth the cost, 
I can highly recommend you to try Knob Panel. It brings completely new experience of processing in Capture One. Just take a look. It's it's so natural to roll the knob, to move the sliders. It's amazing, seriously. It's completely new experience. Tracker Ball is a, a must-have for color balance. If you wish to work with color, like here, to work with shadows, with midtones, with highlights. For example, let's let's add some some warm tone to highlights here. Yes, yeah, something. Yes, yeah, something like that. It's great. Uh, multifunctional and button panels. Well, they are nice, but it depends on your budget. Thank you for watching this video. You will find more articles and videos about Capture One at CaptureOneBlog.com. And if you are looking for great styles for Capture One, take a look at CaptureOneStyles.com.